what I'm working on right now is trying to take all these parts and make something that will work for this I'll demonstrate what I need done hang on this is a cutting board and one of the viewers said I should use a cutting board to mount my circuit board to and I think that's a good idea so I picked this cutting board up at the uh, dollar store or something like that and uh, it'll work great so anyway I'm gonna be mounting my board on top of it like that with standoffs and the problem is is this board has the parallel port right there as you can see and it's coming out the side so if I try to take a regular cable you know like this one it's gonna stick out too far and I won't get the case on there the top part of the case and I can't turn the board like this because it's just a little bit too wide of course so I'm gonna mount it in there like this or like this doesn't really matter but I need an adapter or a a smaller footprint of a plug in this case a parallel port 25 pin female to a male that will stick out the back so these parts, hopefully I can come up with a plate and then that. And what I plan on doing is using a ribbon cable, you know, and bending it this way. So that's what I'm up to anyway. So when I figure out how to take these parts and do that, I'll show you. So I think I came up with a plan for this wire that I need to build. I'm going to use these two wires here. I have a male and a female, and that's what I need. Inside the case, um, I don't need these little plastic covers, you know, because I want to try to angle this as soon as it comes out of the board. That's the whole idea of making this. So I think I can use this ribbon cable that's already on here, and I took the two screws out of here. And uh, you can see that it, uh, like every other wire goes to every other pin. So I should be able to use this wire. And then I'll just take this cover off completely. I won't use it at all. And then, you know, I'll go directly into the board here. And then it will immediately fold and turn like that. And that distance should be adequate for the board to fit in and I think the length of this cable is good too so I just have to uh, take this part off we won't be using it and because this is my female I have the male end here and this will be the part that mounts on the back panel so that you can come along and you know plug your wire into it here it'll be removable from the outside rather than the inside so I'm gonna go ahead and take this cover off this one these are just parts that you know come out of my scrap pile probably these were inside a computer at one time for parallel port connections or something like that this looks like it was a parallel port on the motherboard and you know this would plug down onto the motherboard and then this would come out the back is what these wires probably were this is a full 25 pin, but this is only like a 9 pin. But really, if you're using a parallel port, a lot of times you will only use 9 pins. Where this project, I want all the pins up because we're going to have safety stops and we're going to have motor inputs and outputs. and I just want all the pins, all 25 of them. So there's the crazy connection on that. I think I'll heat my soldering iron up and remove all these wires, remove this, strip this back, and begin the tedious task of soldering pin for pin. You know, I'll have to come up with a little test jig with some paper clips or something like that. So let me figure that out. So I've got it hooked up in my helping hands. I'm going to remove these wires that I won't be using. And I want to try to clean up these contacts because I will be reusing those, of course. 
So a lot of times the best thing to do to actually remo remove solder is to add solder first. And that kind of loosens up the joint and gets it flowing again before I remove the solder completely. So I'm going to add a little solder on each. Just the ones that uh, have solder on, on them, which is really just those two on this side. There's more on the other side. The old solder sucker is pretty handy for removing this off here too. It's working okay. Heat it up. Oops, I missed. Right. Let's see, let's get uh, let's get this second one. Yeah. I don't know. What do you guys like to use better, the braid or uh, the solder sucker? I guess they both have their advantages. Anyway. And how do you think you remove these headers off these ribbon cables? Not positive, but I think you slide something in here and it pops it off. Let's see. Well, I broke the clip. Let's do the other side too. I can just take a pair of scissors and cut this off, but I wanted to see if I could get this connector off. I know they used to make like a removable one, but I think these are permanent, you know. These aren't made to take apart once you just crimp them on. Yeah, who knows how that works. I'll just get my scissors and make a nice line. Sorry, Mr. Cable, I shall cut you now. Now I gotta get an exacto blade and go through each one of these. You know, start pulling the conductors out. Fun stuff. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting these apart, you know, so they look like this. So I can solder them onto that other connection. So I took a, a straight edge razor blade, a safety razor, and I drew a sharpie mark of how deep I wanted that to go. And I'm just putting it on wood going in between my wires very carefully and then pressing down and that'll give me the right cut that I need and the right length as well and when I'm done with that I'll strip them all down so I'll just keep moving with that so now I have them all cut and I'm just pulling them out one by one and stripping the very end of it off and tinning it for with solder you know so it will stick to a connector better so I'm just taking a little bit off the end there pretty tedious process but when you need custom cables you need custom cables you know, I could probably buy this cable, but, you know, I would have to wait at least a week for it, and I just want to get this project going. Besides that, it never hurts to make up your own stuff once in a while. So, let's do another one. Actually, i got to do them all anyway. I'll film one more. Wish I had some smaller strippers. Those are a little bit bulky. Okay, I'll do it to the others and uh, I'll be back for more fun. Okay, I have all my wires cut back and tinned on the ends so I can begin putting it on this connector. Now this is a straight through connector so pin one on here will represent pin one on here. 
and you can see how they did it they altered like this is the red one this is pin one and so pin one and then the next one goes to the opposite pin which would be what pin 14 would it be something like that 13 maybe so anyway what I the easiest way to keep track of this would be just to take these two and connect them together and I can see what's going on here and then bend my end up and begin you know putting them on the same way so this one is pin one so I'll begin with pin one here and then alternate so I'm going to set it up in my helping hands here and start uh, doing that this process of weaving the cable in and out was getting confusing to me. The more I looked at it, the more confusing it became. So an easy way for me was to color each, every other wire, you know, that comes up. And then the odd go down. So that's just my way of dealing with it. For some reason, this exercise was very confusing. If you want to practice soldering skills, try one of these cables. Okay, maybe I should have waited the two weeks. Oh well, I'm almost done. Let's continue on. Alright, thanks to the Motley Crew video playing in the background, I was able to sit down and concentrate and get this cable done. Anyway, why don't somebody check my work? Every other wire is up. Let me know. So there it is. There is the completed ribbon cable, and I think it looks pretty neat. Now, the devil is in the details in this sort of work. You know, it took me only a couple hours to make the circuit board, but it, you know, in total took me maybe an hour and a half to make this one cable. Now I could have purchased this cable, but sometimes it's just better to do it yourself. I don't all the time, but in this case I wanted to, so I did. I'm going on vacation for a quick trip next week, but I left some more build of this with Steve for Saturday's video so look for that and we'll see you in the coming weeks take care bye for now